So the kinds of measurement we've talked about so far are distance or length, and then we talked about weight, and today we'll talk about capacity. And capacity is what you use when you're talking about liquid measurements. Now there's also other ways of measuring things. There's time, there's temperature, there's something called ratios, like how many miles you travel in one hour. That's called a ratio. So we're not going to cover every single type of measurement this year. But this is our third one. And in front of you, you're going to see three measurement, four measurement devices. One is a gallon. This is a quart. This is a pint. And this is a cup. These are the standard or customary measures in the American system. So here's that gallon again. So up to this point is one gallon. This is another gallon that you're probably more familiar with. You see these for water and milk, and that's called a gallon. It's the largest unit of measurement or capacity for a liquid measure. You can see that here it says a gallon, but down here it lists some other things. So in each of these lines are quarts. So this is one quart, two quarts, three quarts, and four quarts, which is a gallon. Now, I have this one filled up halfway, so it's filled up to two quarts. Now I wanna show you another thing that's two quarts. You may have seen these at your home before, but this is a two quart container. Now if I look at it next to this, it looks like it's a gallon, but it's not. It's only a half a gallon. This right here, is a quart. Okay, now remember I told you this is one quart, this is a quart. This is two quarts, so this would be two of these or one of these. So two of these comes up to this line and one of these would come up to this line. Okay, the next unit is called a pint. Okay, now a pint is the same as two cups. And this would be one cup. A pint, can you guess how many of these would be in here? A little bit smaller. Two of these would fit into this. So two pints is the same as a quart. Can you guess how many of these cups would fit into a pint? Two. So two of these would fit into here, two of these would fit into here, and how many of these go in here? One gallon is four quarts. So our final measurement is called fluid ounces. It's different than the weight that we talked about in the last lesson. So when we weighed things in the last lesson, we said 16 ounces is a pound. And that's what happens when you measure mass. But this is for liquid. So this ounce would not necessarily weigh one ounce. So if I put water in here, it might weigh an ounce. But if I filled the same measurement up with something really heavy, like molten rock, it probably wouldn't weigh an ounce. So depending on what is in the fluid ounce would determine how much it weighs. So this ounce is not the same as the weight ounce. Now we're gonna figure out how many of these fluid ounces would be in a cup, because a cup is our next smallest measurement. So one, two, three, Four, can you guess? Five, six, seven, eight. There's eight fluid ounces in one cup. Now here is one more example of a cup. This might be something that you have in your house. But this is the second to the smallest measurement we talked about for capacity. And remember that this holds 
ounces, fluid ounces, and there's eight fluid ounces in one of these cups. Now you do not need to know this year how to change from one thing to another. So nobody's going to say how many fluid ounces are in here or how many of these are in a quart or how many of these are in a gallon. You don't need to know how to do that this year. That'll be in fourth and fifth grade. But what you do need to know this year is if I showed you a container that you would have an estimate of how much could fit inside of that container. So if I showed you a mug, you could probably say, well, that probably hold a cup of liquid. It wouldn't hold one ounce or one gallon of liquid. And if I showed you a big, huge plastic tub, like we hold science stuff in in school, you'd probably say, oh, that might hold five gallons or 10 gallons. It wouldn't hold an ounce or a cup or a quart. And the other thing you need to know is if you're shown two containers, which one has a greater capacity and which one has a smaller capacity. So a mug would have a smaller capacity than a gallon sized jug. So here's a fairy tale that might help you remember some of what we've just done. So once upon a time in a kingdom, there was a king. His name was King Gallon. Now, King Gallon had four queens. And each of those queens had two princes. Now each prince had two cats. Now this really is going to help you next year because it's going to help you see that gallon is the largest, quarts are smaller, but there's four of those, pints are even smaller, and there's two of those in each quart, and then cups are even the smallest because there's two cups in each pint.